The Bob Braun Show featuring Nancy James, Mary Ellen Tanner, and Mark Preston. Today, Rob's special guest, Jazz with Bob Time. A look back at the best of 1981. A big money call worth $5,400. And now, standing in for vacationing Bob Braun, here's Rob Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was just, Bob is taking a week's vacation and he really deserves that. <laughs> I don't know, just, what, take it easy, would you? I'm trying to do a good job on the show while Bob's away. And I appreciate him allowing me to take over and, and kind of wear the pants in the family today. <laughs> You know, I was earlier, before the show, I was down in, in one of the other offices near the front of the building, and I looked out the window and saw a police wrecker pulling away, which what I thought was my van. I tell you, it literally scared the pants off me. Uh, cut me some slacks. I said, it was cut me some slacks. And it, anyway, it is a real pleasure to be here with you all. I'm sorry, Bob's not here, but Nancy James is here. Mary Ellen Tanner is here. Mark Preston is here. Teddy Rankin and the orchestra are here. Them are here. We've got a great show lined up for you today. And I'm glad you're here, too. And we want to get things underway. We'll talk about who all's going to be on the show. But this is kind of a wrap up and, and, and a look back at some of the things that have happened on the show in the past year here. So let me start things off with a special number that Mary Ellen Tanner did with some dancers. Boy, I wish I could dance, but I'm just, you know, I'm not dressed right for it. Would you welcome, please, with a number called 42nd Street, here is Mary Ellen Tanner. <laughs> Listen to the sounds of the city Listen to what they have to say These are the sounds of the city When it's beginning to play Come on, come on and listen to The lullaby of Broadway By a Broadway, the rumble of the subway train, the rattle of the taxi, the daffodils who entertain at Angelo's and Maxie's when a Broadway baby says goodnight. It's early in the morning, Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn.
street. Little nifties from the fifties, innocent and sweet. Sexy ladies from the eighties are indiscreet. They're side by side, they're glorified. Where the underworld can really lead, 42nd Street. Peekaboo, you thought I was on vacation. Well, I am. I just wanted to drop in today to tell you about Mike Sells Potato Chips to let you know that this is the snack that everybody loves. And now, those of you who live in Lexington, Kentucky, Huntington, and Charleston, West Virginia, you too can find Mike Sells Potato Chips. They're in your area now. Wait until you try them. You're going to find out why the rest of the area has really taken to Mike Sells Potato Chips. First of all, they're made from all natural ingredients. I mean, real potatoes that they wash, peel, slice, and prepare in 100% premium peanut oil. Then they're packaged in real aluminum foil, a package that will reseal airtight, and it also stores easily. So you look for Mike Sells Potato Chips at your store, regular, groovy, or flavored. Mike Sells, they are delicious. Mike Sells Potato Chips. Taste one and you'll say, hey, they are delicious. Mike Sells. 